Welcome to another episode of Bedrock Zoo Survival Series. I'm Spunky Monkey. Uh, as you can see behind me, let me uh, change my view here and turn around. I've uh, got this tree display. It's much better set up. I did a little cleaning up on the pass here in, in the town. Uh, I did fix that roof over there, but uh, the town is not my main goal, so I'm probably just going to leave the town pretty much as it is. Uh, <clears throat> but what I did was uh, I made paths through the trees, so you can see all the jungle trees. Uh, I covered all the lights with uh, the particular leaves. Uh, if it needed stairs, I used that particular wood, so these are jungle stairs. And uh, here, this takes you right out to the dock area here. So I thought uh, this worked out pretty well. It looks nice. Uh, I still got some bone mealing to do, but I'll take care of that at the end. Um, I haven't quite figured out what I'm going to do about this yet. Maybe yeah, I'll just do that. There we go. That takes care of that. Uh, some of these, as you can see, didn't grow. I thought, you know, at first I was kind of bummed, but, um, you know, they might eventually grow. And uh, But if they don't, I, I think it's kind of cool to see this saplings planted there. Uh, so I'm just going to leave them. I thought they, you know, they look good. Uh, this will be, you know, like mostly just a bone meal area. And then here's our doe croak. And like I said, I just got paths up and down all of them. It's uh, been very grindy work. Uh, so uh, this might be kind of a short episode because uh, I just wanted to show off some of the things that I'm getting taken care of here to, to finish this zoo off. But uh, I think, I, like I said, with, with the exception of bone meal, I've pretty much got this area done. Uh, here's all the acacia trees. Just got them in nice, even rows. And uh, they look great from up top. You know, they looked great from up there. Uh, just to give you guys a warning, though, there's no way I'm going to be able to light up this whole place. So it still will be kind of dangerous. So keep your eyes open for some mobs. Uh, but, uh, you know, like right here, I got spruce uh, spruce. Uh, stairs. So I, you know, I, like I said, I thought thought it turned out pretty good. A lot of these are oh, great. Start raining on me <laughs> and lightning. Yeah, great, wonderful. Uh, there's still a few that have to uh, grow yet. I think I have a couple down here. Maybe not. But uh, yeah, this way here takes you to the zoo. Uh, you can see that path right there. You can see right where we're at here. And uh, this path over here uh, kind of takes you back. You can see right here, I kind of cleaned this path up. You saw me run this path a lot of times. It was basically my maintenance path. Um, I might go ahead and move that sign up there so I can take care of, you know, I moved both these signs up so I can take care of these two blocks. But uh, for the most part, uh, that's, that's pretty much it. Like I said, a little bit of bone meal and It'll be ready to go. I still have the you know the same pillar displays here. <clears throat> Shush! I'm trying to talk here. <laughs> uh, but yeah, all the like I said, all the lighting I hid underneath uh, the the leaves in that area. So these are uh, birch leaves, and uh, you know I think once it's once it's bone milled, it'll look really nice. And uh, seeing as I've got tree planting go I'm probably just gonna plant some uh, trees in, in through here too just to kind of just to kind of fill it in a little bit make it look nicer uh, but uh, yeah I got a lot of the path work done uh, a lot of things the other thing I need to do is you know this is all the stuff I collected while building these trees because I had to cut down all the original ones first so um, boy that lightning is loud <laughs> But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's turned out really good. Like I said, some bone meal, and she'll be she'll be done and ready to go. Uh, so seeing as uh, I've already got all these trees on me and everything, um, yeah, we'll leave that like that. Um, I think what I'll do is uh, I have all these oak saplings on me. So instead of uh, bone mealing any of them, I'm just going to go and plant them. Whoa! Around the courtyard. I better go check on that. I do not have fire tick off, so I might have just lost something here. Okay, I don't see anything on fire. Hopefully my food court's okay. 
as we saw in the barn I still got to fix that too by the way as we saw in the barn lightning can strike this stuff so uh, well, I'll try and make the map as complete as possible be by download day uh, this is episode 37 so I'm figuring uh, episode 40 will probably be our our final download day Wow uh, let me go sleep and uh, I'll bring you back when I get some more done all right, I got the trees planted, and I'm just kind of AFK in here waiting for uh, the trees to grow up and see what kind of a fence line we got and how it's going to look. Uh, but what I wanted to do is kind of talk to you. I'm, I'm not really happy with Minecraft right now. Um, I don't know if you've uh, watched Spunky the Explorer, but, you know, I ran into that invisible wall glitch again, and... You know, so that pretty much just kind of ended my series. I, I'm kind of I'm kind of done uh, fighting with it. Um, and in this one, I was um, <clears throat> doing a transfer station similar to what I have over here by the mountain, where it's a kind of a three-way deal. That was really all I had to do in the uh, the Nether railway. Um, it took me three three times to do it because I would get it done. I'd come back home. I would shut down the game, I'd back it up, wait like they told me to, and it, it, it crashed. I mean, it literally, you know, spawned me at uh, at spawn and said I died. And then when I restarted it, it just kept restarting over and over and over again. I died, I died, I died, I died. So I'm like, okay, I'll do the backup. Backup was the exact same way. So all it did was copy the glitch to my backup. So... I basically had to go back to a previous backup, redo it again in another, three times. Three times it took me to build that, and even the third time it finally did, but it finally let me out, and it wasn't just constantly restarting. It let me out, so I was able to collect up my stuff and then continue on from there. That is ridiculous. I mean, this 1.8 update, as much as the pandas and the cats are adorable and wonderful to play with, uh, these glitches are absolutely horrible. Now, I don't understand how they can do a hotfix on something for the realms, but, but they we have to wait for 1.9 for this other stuff to get fixed. I'm not happy. I'm just upset right now, and I I'm, I'm apologize for venting, but I need to get it out, <laughs> you know, because it's, it's very frustrating. I mean, three times I had to do that, that track system, and that was not an easy, you know, three-way uh three-way system on the rail, rail system in the nether but the nether track is done so hopefully I have no reason to go to the nether any longer um, I only have one more mob to bring back and he's on a boat so uh, pretty much the nether is done guys the uh, the rail the railway is all set up for you uh, there are stops at all the portals and uh, like I said there is a three-way switching system uh, similar to the one over here by the mountain but uh, yeah, I'm just not really too happy with Minecraft right now. Um, you know, I just don't, I just don't understand, like I said, how they do a hot fix on something for realms, but they can't do a hot fix for something as ridiculous as this. I mean, it's just, it's just, this is horrible. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to get that out and vent while I was waiting for trees to grow. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the uh, the next episodes I got coming up, uh, they're going to be a lot of cutting in and out. Um, you know, here's what I got done. Because it's a lot of grindy work that I've got right now, and and uh, you know the ending will be just bone meal all over the place, you know, uh, to finish it off and make it look nice. Uh, I still have the observation tower to do. Um, I just planted the trees for the wall around the garden, so hopefully we'll be lurking on that pretty soon. I still got to tear that one down, uh, finish the track all the way around, and really at that, that that's about it. You know, bring uh, bring the 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 uh what's he called the elder guardian uh to his home in the aquarium and that'll be the really the final step because once he's in there uh we'll get uh i got the cats to do too so i still have a lot of work um doing the best i can trying to get it done but i definitely want this prettied up and uh you know functional and make it look as nice as possible for you guys and i'm like i said i'm figuring episode 40 will probably be the last episode of this series uh, and, and you will be able to download a completed map so uh let me wait for these trees to grow and uh i'll bring you back when i got that taken care of so i'll see you in a bit
All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, all the trees have grown. I just got this one right here that hasn't hasn't quite sprouted yet. Uh, but I don't know if you guys have ever done a fence like this before, but I usually do them early in a survival game if I need a fence of some sort, uh, whether it be to, you know, fence in uh, animals for my herds, you know, to breed them up uh, for skins or whatever. But uh, if I need a fence off an area, this is a really good fence. It's cheap obviously uh, just have to plant them and then what you can do uh, and what I did in this case to actually build this wall right here uh, I just ran and got some more leaves but I didn't have any leaves and you can see some of the areas where it overhang uh, the path so I went through with my shears and just took them down and it gave me enough leaves to do the one whole wall too high uh, the advantages of this is you can see through it uh, you know the mobs can't see through it but well you know how i like going after skeletons so if i see a skeleton through there i can just you know hop around the corner here and go after it but if i see a creeper i can go the other way <laughs> you know what i'm saying so uh it, it definitely uh saves on wood i mean you got to uh you got to usually have a tree farm anyway uh so it does save on wood as far as you know building the actual fences you know like uh <clears throat> these fences over here i mean these are kind of expensive and kind of tedious to actually build with the sticks and the blocks and all that but uh so yeah i i, I really like this type of fence uh, uh, the only reason why i didn't do it around the city before uh when i was first looking at it was uh let me just uh, start planting some of these here <clears throat> no, that's not what i wanted to do but uh, the only reason why I didn't do the city is because you can see through it, but not really. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I guess that would have been okay because I'm going to go ahead and take that out. And and one thing you got to make sure when you're doing this, though, is you want to make sure to get these undersized because those little, uh, the little baby zombies uh, can still get through those. Like that one right there. I want to make sure it's at least too high but i think it really looks good uh it adds a touch of nature to it you know and uh i, I think it really works out well um one of the things i like to do before i plant them is is actually just throw a torch under the ground like i said this is great for an early game uh an early game fence See, and then as you're coming through here, I mean, it looks nice. It looks nice. It kind of gives it a little tunnel feel to it. <clears throat> you can go three high if you want, but uh, I'm probably going to go to two on this. Um, sometimes I can even you can even vary it. Uh, you know, do two every once in a while, three every once in a while. Like I said, randomness is is a good thing to go by um, when you're working on anything as far as decorations and design. Uh, but this is definitely one of the things that I uh, have always enjoyed doing. And like I said, it's, it's a really inexpensive um, way to create fencing. And, you know, if you end up needing, needing wood, you just chop down some of your fence and replant the saplings when you get them. And voila, your new fence, you know. So it's, it's easily repairable. Um, let's see, I think I will, yeah. So uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and take care of some more of this, but I just wanted to bring you guys back and, and kind of give you some, uh, some tips and some things that I like to do. Um, and that this is, you know, one of the things that I do, especially early game, like I said, you, you need a tree farm anyway. Uh, most of the time so you can get yourself your collection of wood and uh, so this is a real inexpensive way to do it I don't know where my fence my gates are going to be yet so I'm just going to border the whole thing right now and basically close myself off in here um, this one I actually think I'm not going to put another torch because there's one right there so need to waste a torch but uh, yeah I'll continue on with this and uh, uh, basically what I'll do is I will uh, <clears throat> I 
figure out the center of this. <clears throat> I'm thinking maybe right here is probably where the fountain is going to go. I think this is going to be a fairly centered area. I still might have to do some, you know, uh, get rid of some dirt, add some dirt, you know, whatever I'll have to do in order to build it. But I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking on this plateau right here, and uh, this is just a little AFK thing I did so the trees can grow uh, while I was taking, you know, eating some lunch. And uh, but uh, yeah, I thought this would be uh, a good spot right here uh, for the fountain, and then I can have a path going on all four corners and a path surrounding the fountain. <clears throat> and then and where there's not a path is where I can plant the uh, you know the flowers and the trees and that looks so cool I, I, you know you can see the woodland mansion just right above the trees like that i, I think this is just turning out really good <clears throat> but uh yeah i'm already like i said i was already doing the grove over there in the uh by the town so i'm already planting trees so i thought i would just come over here and take care of this fencing and kind of give me an idea of my area that i'm working with so i can find a center area and like i said i think this is going to be a good spot right here uh, I might have to dig some of this out to fit it because I want a pretty good size fountain in here but uh, <clears throat> I did go to the nether and uh, collect a bunch of quartz or while I was in the nether I did collect a bunch of quartz knowing I wanted to do this so I am going to be making it mostly out of quartz uh, there's a lot of decorative blocks that you can use with quartz um, you know probably not all quartz but probably a good majority of it's going to be quartz so I, I think it'll look really nice it'll be nice and bright and uh, it'll really stand out and be a nice garden for people to come and visit so uh, yeah let me uh, get carried on here and uh, I will t bring you back when I'm, I'm ready to start building the fountain all right guys uh, this is certainly taking a lot of time um, I usually have my video already uploaded so I apologize for the lateness uh, we're gonna go ahead and build this fountain today and then I'll still have to get the video edited and get it out to you so I'm, I apologize for the lateness but uh, getting a lot of work done around here sorry I heard something walk up behind me <clears throat> but there's my center point and my outline for the uh, fountain so far I think it'll look really cool I think that's a good size uh, it's nice and centered I'll have to take care of some grass obviously but uh, yeah I think that'll that'll work out really well I'll have to take care of some of the definitely some of the uh, the landscape because it's too uneven but uh, so we'll start off with a, a bottom circle and well we'll go ahead and build this and then I'll get the edit video edited and get it out to you today uh, but uh, just wanted to get an overview here I thought it looks pretty cool you know once it gets some paths in there it'll go around four corners and then I'll have these corners here to plant the plants the flowers I think it'll be really cool so uh, yeah let me get back down there and get started and I'll bring you back all right guys I got my uh, basic circle done I thought I would try a multi-level here I, I don't have a design for this uh, I looked at several of them on Google pictures and just none of them really seemed minecraft like so I'm kind of going off the cuff on this but I thought I would try you know two levels here um, and with water mechanics I wanted to test and make sure that everything will be okay and it, it kind of looks like it'd be kind of cool uh, these top blocks won't be here I'm just using those as my center mark but uh, yeah I thought that was pretty cool so let's go ahead and pick that back up I think that's something I can work with um, again I just left this as my center point something to work on here but uh, let me get some quartz blocks back out and I'll probably need a lot more actually <clears throat> yeah I have a whole bunch of goodies here and let's grab a couple of blocks and let's get some stairs and this is why I like quartz is because you got you know a lot of different things there um, let me see I got a stack of the polished um, go ahead and get a stack of that polished they really don't see me using that but uh, you never know just kind of getting some blocks in my inventory here just to kind of give me an idea uh, but what I was thinking of to start off with is uh, stairs on the outside is kind of what I was thinking here so let's see 
See, I'm not too sure about this height change here, how that's going to look. Take a step back and see how that looks. Okay, yeah, that'll be cool except for this right here. So actually what I might do is that might be a good place. said this that one's not going to be there okay I'm kind of liking that and then right here in the center will so now we have something in our design that shows the center spot and then we can take this like I said here guys I'm going totally off the cuff on this I saw a couple just to kind of give me some inspiration, but nothing, you know how it is, eh, circles in Minecraft, they don't, uh, they don't always work out. See this side, I still have a little bit of digging out, but I don't want to, I want to leave some of it there. So let me see how this is. Okay, so the dirt is in front of it. I'm sure I like that, but we'll, we'll keep trying it here. I said trial and error, trial and error, that's really all this is. Okay, so now we can go back to stairs. There we go. So there's our base of our fountain. Okay, let me just do one more water test here. I actually don't see my axe. Look at my axe. Boy, is it beat up. <laughs> but I've been using fortune for the saplings. Cutting down all those trees. So let's see. If I throw water right here, how does that flow? Okay, good. So then the water would actually be visible like that. I think that would look kind of neat. Okay. All right, so there is, I believe, the base of our fountain. Okay, and I'm trying to just figure out a height here. Actually, this is a pretty good height. You'll be able to see it from the uh, Woodland Mansion, possibly from the top of that, definitely from the crow's nest, and certainly from up there. Uh, I still need to fix that rough. <laughs> Okay, so let's let's work with that. It just gives me a center point to I'll work with. Uh, one of the other things I wanted to do. Oh, I think that's a good spot right there. There is something I do want in this fountain. That'll make it unique. Let's, let's test it out and see if it'll work. Uh, is that going to be high enough? It might be high enough. Okay, let's go. Let's go one more. Just test out the water mechanics here again. So if I put water right there, okay, I'll have to do that without that block on the bottom and it'll look more like this side. Yeah, so it'll be like water spouts coming up. All right, so how many blocks have I got there? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and stick with this so these two, three, four, five. Stick with the same height. Two, three, four, five. And the reason why I'm doing that is so that these spouts will be lower than these back ones. 
I think that'll look really cool. Okay, let me put this back. Right there. Okay, so yes, you from they almost look the same height, don't they? I think I'm actually going to take these down by one. So those are our water spouts. I might have to actually go maybe up one in the back. Maybe they're too close to the center. Maybe I'll put them right here. Okay, yeah, maybe I'll have them off center. And then I think <coughs> I think the back ones need to go one more. I do want to put another level on here so that the water is flowing over on top of it so I don't want to get too close. Let's see how it looks if I do this. Okay, let's see how that looks. Okay, that won't be bad. And that also gives us an idea of the height we need for our second level. Alright, I probably should have grabbed some scaffolding for this. That's what the stuff's made for, right? Alright, let's... Uh, Give myself a walk path through here. Okay, and I think what I'll do is I'll go with another circle boat. Let's see, let's go with a smaller one. Uh, let's see, okay, so the water spouts are going to be up there. So I want the water to flow out the side. So I'll put a water source up on top, remove the cobblestone, and I can water log this. The water will flow off the sides of my crouching. Okay. And the water will flow off these sides while these spouts come up. I think this is going to look kind of cool. So let's take a better look at it from the underside here. <clears throat> ah, I made it. I said it didn't take too much damage. Okay. Uh, is that big enough? I don't think that's going to be big enough up on top. I think I need it to come out. Okay, well, for one thing, I think... These need to be actual pillars. Okay, so let's go with... You know what? Let's go with the... Uh, let's mix it up a little bit here. And I'm not ready for the water yet. How about we go with chiseled in the corner here? Okay, and those will those will be gone. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and put this pillar right here. You won't see it from the bottom, but it'll make the water spread out more. Again, so I just want to get rid of these corners here. And I think what I want to do is Go ahead and put some stairs there. Yeah, yeah that is not going to look right if I do that. Um, let's <clears throat> alright, I think we're getting somewhere, guys. So I have water flowing down from up there, and then the spouts. Oh, I think this is going to look cool. Okay, let's see what we can do here about this bottom. 
Let's go back to the chisel. We'll go two there, one there, one there. Whoop. And then again, we'll go with uh, uh, what I was thinking of was this. up here just to give it the extra height and it'll make the water spread so we can do that now it's this height difference here um, let me use just for for giggles There we go, not bad, not bad. Okay, now one of the things we need to do is we need to add a light to this, right? So let's get rid of that, let's get rid of that. And um, we'll put a torch there, bam. And I think we'll do the same for all four of these corners. Okay, cool, cool. I have no idea how this is going to look, guys, because there's no water in it yet, so uh, let's go get rid of that, get rid of that. And we'll use torch and bam. All right, how's that looking? So far, I'm not liking that. <clears throat> Get out of the way. I'm looking at my masterpiece. Okay, so pretty much everywhere cobblestone is, water will flow, and then I'll also have it flowing out of here. Um, is there a way I can put, I know what I can do, uh, where's my cobblestone, uh, I don't think I'll need those right now, and so far I haven't used any other block but quartz, I think this is going to look nice, maybe I'll put uh, the granite, the polished granite on the bottom. That might look nice. Uh, let's see. So we still need light here. So now that we've now we're at nighttime. Okay. So that's too far. Let's go with that, and we'll knock that out. Knock that out. Uh, I want my block back. Like I said this is quartz. Really expensive. Took me a long time to mine. <laughs> Give me my block back. Okay, so put that there, and then we can put the stair back right there. Okay. Um, yeah, I definitely need some more lighting on the outside, but I think we're looking pretty good, guys. I think this is going to look cool once the water is flowing. See how it looks from all the sides. I like the change. I, I wasn't sure at first, but I, <clears throat> I think I, mean, excuse me, I think I do like the change. Let me see about a stair there, just to give it some extra. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah, this is something unique. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen anybody build a fountain in Minecraft like that before. So I'm liking it. Yeah, let's put this stair on that side. 
Okay, that is cool. That is cool. All right, guys, I think that's really cool. Uh, let me get the bottom changed out to granite and I'll get the water in and I'll bring you guys back. All right, guys, I got uh, all the granite laid down on the bottom. I think that's a nice contrast right there. I think that, that'll that work. That way it's not all white. Um, I did put light and then red glass underneath where these spouts are gonna be so they should glow at night. I think it's gonna look really cool. So let's get some water laid in here and see how this is gonna look. Okay, cool. Now, I think what I'm gonna have to do is, I was hoping that would be a little more filled in. Let's go one there. I want it flowing up on the top here. I don't want it. I don't want water sources. Yeah, I like that, guys. And that one I can't quite reach, but let's go ahead and get that one in. And then we'll break this cobblestone. Oh yeah, I think that looks cool, guys. I think that looks really good. Oh, it's getting close to nighttime, guys. Yeah, I like it. I can't wait to see it in the dark here. Just take a step back and see how that looks. Oh, yeah, I like it. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, we still need some water sources here, so let's throw one there and one there. Okay, do we want water sources in this bottom or do we want to just leave it flowing like this? I'm thinking leaving it flowing. I kind of like how it looks. And it sounds cool. There we go, guys. I think we're done. I, mean, I could put water sources up here, but I like how it's flowing. I'd rather have it flowing. This looks a little odd right here. Minecraft glitches, I guess, right? Certainly been dealing with enough of them lately. Yeah, I really don't like that. I think there's going to be much I can do about it. I don't want to put a source in there. Let's see, what do we think do we want? Maybe a water source right here in the corners. I guess we'll try it. We'll waterlog the stairs there. Actually, it just has more glitch, don't it? <laughs> the water dripping from the bottom there. That, that's looking cool. Okay, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Yeah, I don't care for these glitches right here, but I'm afraid if I put a source somewhere over here to try and get rid of that glitch, so I definitely can't put a source here because that'll waterlog this stair and it'll flow out, so I can't do that. Not bad for my first fountain though, guys, huh? I'm liking this. I like this a lot. You know what? Let me head back up to the top of the mountain up there and uh, I'll bring you guys back for a, a final overall look. 
All right, guys, that's what it looks like up there. That is looking cool. I'm liking it. That is as exactly what I was envisioning. Now I'm thinking of uh, uh, maybe two rows of polished andesite around the base here. And maybe I'll actually do andesite, polished andesite as a walk path instead of the path blocks. I think I might do that instead. So I'll go, you know, maybe two rows of andesite, polished andesite around there, and then the four paths leading in. Ah, I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. So guys, uh, I think uh, my first fountain ever created in Minecraft actually turned out pretty well. I'm, I'm really happy with it. I hope you guys uh, enjoy it too. And uh, I can't wait to get this uh, to get this done, but it's it's getting there. I'm getting a lot of the bigger projects done, uh, so the rest of it's going to be you know a lot of uh, small details and stuff. But uh, it'll be kind of boring for you. But I figure uh, next episode we'll go ahead and finish the track there behind me and get that taken care of. That's I think the last big project we've got really in this in this zoo. Uh, and the rest of it will be just small detail. You know, planting extra trees here and there, uh, some bone meal on the grass. Uh, put some bushes around so it's really coming together it's it's finishing up nicely but I yeah that's what I envisioned and I think it's turning out really well so let me know what you guys think and uh, I will see you later and thank you for joining me in another episode of Bedrock Zoo and I will see you in the next episode bye <laughs>